This is how I performed the ELOS Calcium test kit. Refer to the instruction packet or this quick easy guide, either for approximate or precision testing. On the back you'll see the values of each corresponding bottle. You will be drawing up exactly 5 milliliters of tank water for this test. Make sure the plunger lines up with the 5 ml mark. Also notice this spoon. In the drawing it appears like you're going to use the larger scoop, but that's in fact the incorrect size. We're using the 0.15 milliliter scoop. Next you want exactly 5 milliliters of water in your syringe with no trapped air between the plunger and the 5 ml mark. Add this to your test vial. Next we're going to shake part A for 15 seconds and we're going to add 7 drops to the vial. You do not need to mix the solution at this time. When you add the powder, you're going to get a good scoop of the 0.15 ml powder. This is a color reagent, so the exact amount does not matter. Now we're going to stir the solution for about 10 seconds. You want to get it evenly mixed, but all the grains do not have to fully dissolve. Shake part C for 15 seconds. And now we're going to add one drop at a time to change the color from pink to blue. Count the drops, don't lose track. Each drop represents 50 parts per million of calcium. Two, three, four, five, six, it's getting close, seven, now here's an important point. If it starts to turn pink again, you need to add another drop. It's not blue, is it? It's purple. So if we were to add an eighth drop now, it would definitely get darker, right? Let's see. Eight. Now as you can see, it has now turned a dark blue, and you want it to stay that color for 20 seconds. If it turns back to pink, it's not enough. So eight drops is 400 parts per million calcium more precise measurement, you're going to use part C and part D. So like before, 5 milliliters of water, 7 drops of part A, then we add the blue scoop, the powder that will get you that pink coloration. It's still the small scoop. Add that to your vial. Try not to make a mess. Add seven drops this time of part C. It's just one drop less than last time, which you'll learn to remember in time. Seven drops has up to 350 parts per million. And then each drop of part D will be 10 parts per million. 360, 370, 380, 390, Pretty much 400, like we said before, but that was the precise way of measuring. We're waiting 20 seconds to make sure it stays blue. If it's not blue enough, we'll add another drop, and that would put us at 410 parts per million. That is a precise measurement using the ELOS Calcium Test Kit. You can test your tank for approximate or for a precise measurement. That's up to you.